Hi family and welcome to another of my videos. Today I'm very excited because I'm going to show you this makeup look that I created with Melt Cosmetics 420 palette. Now I'm excited because uh, this is my first product from uh, Melt Cosmetics. I've never tried any of their eyeshadow uh, eyeshadows or any of their cream eyeliners, but when this palette launched, I fell along with the shades. It's something I'm really into right now, this kind of dark green, brown, yellow shades, and I immediately order it as soon as it launched on Beauty Bay because um, it's easy. I don't need to pay taxes or other shipping costs uh, on uh, from Beauty Bay, but this is the palette. The packaging looks amazing. I'm mesmerized how beautiful this palette is and also I bought the two of their new shades ultra matte gel liners this is in spliff and also the, like dark brown shade and this one is in wallflower like green what I like about it is that you can actually see the shades on um, the name of the brand but this is how they look uh, the, and I also like that you can see the shades on the packaging so this is what I have on my eyes now and I've tried this one before the green one I love this kind of green it's beautiful now I'm going to swatch the palette and I'm going to swatch the eyeliners and then I'm going to show you this makeup look and then I'm going to talk about what I think about the products what I think about the palette how it performs because I've been using it for a week now and I know how it works and I also been using the eyeliners so uh, let's start with the swatches this palette has corbo packaging it has a nice mirror has three six it has ten shades and uh, nine mattes and one shimmer and uh, let's swatch from the hash, the first shade here in the palette. They are very buttery, full melt is this shade here. Let's swatch it. I'm going to swatch it live so you can see guys. I don't have anything on my hand. Let's take this bright yellow wax. It's what I have on my eyes. I have the hash and the wax on my eyes. And then we have the shadow. That's the only shimmery shade in this palette. Let's watch it with little finger. And then let's just apply it here. You can see they are swatching very nice. They're very pigmented. I'm going to use these to clean my fingers. I love, love using baby wipes for cleaning my swatches, cleaning my fingers. Also dry my fingers so they are not wet when I swatch the shades. So now my fingers are dry. Let's go into blunt, blunt, I can't really pronounce this one, but they are very soft pressed. Donk is this one. I think I have donk on my eyes too today. Then we have roll it. These are beautiful shades. I do have similar shades to this in other palettes, but not exactly as this. And this is Chronic, the green dark shade. It's so beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful shade. So let's continue swatching. Can you see how pigmented they are? Really, really beautiful. And then we have two shades left in this palette. It's Faded and Gunshot. The Faded is like olive green, a little bit brighter. Uh, also one of my favorite shades in this palette and also Shotgun. I, this one I haven't used yet on my eyes though, uh, but I've used Wax a lot, the bright yellow. And let's, let's watch these two. Look how stunning that shade is. So this is all of the swatches from the palette. I'm going to swatch uh, the eyeliners, but I'm going to use a brush to swatch them because I don't want to uh, dip my fingers in the packaging or in the pot. 
So let's use a pal brush for that. And I'm just going to use a clean brush. This is like eyebrow brush from Morphe and Jaclyn Hill. I'm going to use, I have on the, this one is, what is this one? This is Spliff. You can see it here. Dark brown, almost black, but not really. Really like that shade. Let's go in with this one. This is the wallflower the green one this one is so beautiful I'm going to close them so they don't dry down and let's swatch this one so this is the eyeliner gel eyeliners and this is the palette beautiful stunning isn't it i really really love the um, how pigmented everything is so let's go to this makeup look and at the end when we are when you get back i'm going to tell you what i really think about the eyeshadows how they perform and about the gel liner so let's watch the makeup look Does perfect even mean? Is there even such a thing? Ooh, can we switch up all the rules? And imagine a utopia. A darling, I'm just so fed up with these expectations. They keep weighing me down. My heart is begging me to get the hell out. Hi guys so welcome back now you've seen me creating this makeup look it was very fast very easy they blend like butter very easy to blend they are very pigmented i think you should apply eyeshadow before you do your makeup because i did got some 
fallout, but not major. The, the shades are very dark, but also pigmented. They can destroy the makeup. So I will definitely do the eyeshadow first. But I didn't do that today, and I knew that I should do that, but I didn't because I tried a new product that broke me out, and I have allergic reaction all over my face. It hurts. It the bumps, uh, white bumps look disgusting. So I wanted to do my makeup, face makeup first. I don't want you to see those gross things on my face right now. I'm so sorry, but uh, I threw away that product immediately. Like I was saying, they are very pigmented, very easy to blend. The only issue I had is with this uh, shadow, the shimmery shade. Now, I wouldn't call it issue though, but it's hard pressed and it's almost like a topper. I don't know if you can see, but this is the one swatch. And when I now go over with second time, it gets more pigmented. So this is a shade that you need to build up. I use it with a wet brush and then it, it looks metallic and perfect. So I think this is more if you, you can use it dry if you want that nice uh, soft shimmery look. I don't know if you can see it here, but if you want that intense, gold yellow shade then you, you need to use it wet i will definitely use it i don't hate it it's just a little bit harder not harder to work with it but i think it needs more time to be worked with um but it depends what you want to create with that shade if you want it to be bright yellow metallic then you need to use it wet otherwise you need to build it up or um you're going to get like a nice shimmery soft look i, I like that too but if you want it to be bright you need to use uh, build it up and use it wet the gel liners okay if you are not subscriber or if you watched a couple of my videos maybe you know that i don't usually use uh, eyeliners there are two reasons or more reasons uh, the first one is that i have very hooded eyes and when i do it kind of hides my makeup look the second reason is I'm very bad at it. I can't <laughs> create a very nice and even eyeliner. You've seen that. These are not matching. These are terrible, but it still looks okay. That's the second. The third reason is I don't really, I can't really see without my glasses. Even if I have contacts, I have a hard time seeing uh, what I'm doing on this eye when I close this one. So I can't really see clearly so that's also the third reason i usually kind of try not to do um eyeliner but i've been using these a lot and creating like eyeliners or creating a um, look with eyeliner is because they are so easy to work with very easy to work with with beginner friendly and uh, they forgive <laughs> they are easy to clean up they are very smooth, easy to build up. Uh, I think this is the easiest gel liners I've ever tried. And I have tried a couple of them. I have tried, I like experimenting and trying products, especially if I have problem, problem creating eyeliner looks uh, or looks with eyeliners and using eyeliners, then I really want to find something that it's easy uh, to use and also forgiving if you are not expert as I am. I'm not really expert. I'm terrible doing my eyeliner, but that's why I've been loving using these and the shades are perfect. I don't like using black because black hides my eyeshadow, hides my, kind of closes my look. So I've been uh, loving this shade, the dark brown. It almost looks like black, but not really. Uh, when it dries down, it looks almost black, but if you use it if you build it up, it's going to look like black, but if you don't build it up, it's going to look more brown. So I've been loving that shade. This one is so beautiful, I'm loving that one. And I don't know if you know, but my favorite lipstick from Jeffree Star is the Karma lipstick. It's this dark brownish, uh, dark green shade. And it kind of reminds me of this. So I love that. So guys, uh, that's my thoughts. This is the first, palette I bought from Melt Cosmetics and I'm definitely going to check out more. The outside packaging is stunning. It comes like in this gold packaging. It's beautiful and packaging of these gel liners are also stunning. I uh, am glad that I tried out something from Melt Cosmetics and I immediately fell in love with this palette. 
it i'm so happy to have it in my collection and i'm definitely going to continue using it now um, uh, the print on this is beautiful it kind of got destroyed because i've been using this palette a lot but this is my final makeup look I hope you like it. Please let me know down below if you tried anything from Melt Cosmetics and what do you think about the, the brand and the products. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell. Let me know down below if you want to see me creating more makeup look with this palette. I would love to do so. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video. I love you all. Bye.